Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 28th. Keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? What I want you to do is just take what resonates and leave the rest. Now that the, the party is over, the partying, all the parties are over, I can get back to work on the rest of the January. Okay. So what do we have for message today? King of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Now the King of Pentacles is somebody that uh, is very down to earth, very hard working. So this is a hard working individual that is very sensible, very practical, very responsible. Um, Five of Cups, grieving. We have this, This I feel like there's two different people here. Feeling like, oh, Right away, I feel like we have somebody that is grieving. They are sad. Could be the same person, but there's some sort of sadness here. Um, there's a loss. There's some sort of loss. A lot of sadness. There's still an opportunity for love here. You have somebody here that... Um, is hurting this person is hurting okay somebody is definitely you know begging for some sort of uh, I don't know response maybe or help or something like that um, this king of Pentacles is uh, I, gotta put my, I gotta look a little bit closer at this card Definitely has their eye on this person. This this person has their eye on this on this person. Um, this is a hard worker. Somebody that uh, is very very grounded. Knows what they want. Is about to take an opportunity. It's like the opportunity has been. This person has been waiting. Has been waiting for the moment. To take this opportunity. So they're getting ready. They're taking it. They're taking an opportunity to. Feels like help somebody that has been grieving. This person has been grieving. Not realizing that there's another opportunity. This, this didn't work out for a reason. Probably doing a lot of moping. Um, drowning in their emotions. Whatever. This person's been waiting for the moment to uh, give. They've been waiting for a moment to step into the picture. Perhaps this person's been grieving. This could be prolonged grief. Been been grieving for a while. Feels like this one's been watching. Been watching this person grieve, waiting for the moment to uh, give them something. Give them something solid. Give them something stable. Give them an opportunity. So whoever this person is that is uh, struggling with something that has been lost because like this person is coming in with an with an offer of some sort now whoever this person is is very real okay this person is real very genuine very loyal typically the king of pentacles is very loyal typically in the upright okay this person is very cunning very clever um, and they've been waiting for the moment to make their offer to this person who has experienced loss. Hmm. This person has been going through a very difficult time. Queen of Swords could be a could be dealing with a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it could be anybody. It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, even a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Anyhow, this Queen of Swords is somebody that is hard to deal with. That um, is very authentic. Uh, maybe hard to love. Uh, doesn't deal with um, players. So the Queen of Swords, she would, she just soon be alone, okay? She she just soon be alone. She doesn't play games. 
she does not play games. Now the Queen of Swords is a professional of some sort. She is professional at whatever she does. Okay, so this could be a professional speaker. Um, very assertive, very wise, very smart, very intelligent. This person's gonna have to think fast and is able to think fast because this person, whoever, there's two people here, whoever this person is, is getting ready to make an offer to this Queen of Swords. Now this Queen of Swords is very intimidating. She is intimidating. And she's cold, okay? The Queen of Swords is typically cold because she has been hurt. So there could be some fear of rejection here, honestly. But I feel like this person knows that they have a lot to offer. This Queen of Swords. She's not even interested. Has no idea that this person is watching her. No idea at all. Oh, no. Very hurt. Hurt, 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 hurt. Extremely hurt extremely hurt with the five of cups and the three of swords and that's why she is cold and bitter not communicating not looking kind of has a mask on not interested so whoever this queen of swords is either's web here and they they obviously it takes a minute to you know for web web is staying intact there's no movement right there's protection. I feel like there's some sort of protection here. This Queen of Swords has been protecting herself because of the pain that she has been through. Okay, and it's been some extreme pain. There's been a lot of grieving. There's been a lot of hurt. Some it's been stabbed right in the heart. So this is hurt. This is very, very hurt. Now there is some sort of pain. There's some pain here. There's grieving. There's sadness. There's tears. There could be a message that is coming. It could be. There could be a message that is coming. And this is this is supposed to be a preview, right? That hurts some there could be there could be some pain involved. Okay. Somebody could get a message that really uh, breaks their heart. This is heartbreaking, okay, with the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords. This could be coming. There could be a message coming that really hurts. Two of Pentacles. Now this is trying to find balance. Taking the next step. This King of Pentacles is taking the next step. Now that infinity is trying to find balance, right? This is a balancing act. Somebody may have been putting out an act as well. But anyhow, we have a balancing act here. We have somebody here that it has been going back and forth Definitely. Now they're taking an opportunity. So whoever this King of Pentacles is, this person is is making a choice. They're making a choice now. They've been struggling with their choice. They've been going back and forth as to whether they should do something. And I think that they're about to do it. This Queen of Swords has no idea what is about to happen, just so you know. This is behind her. She doesn't see it coming. She does not see it coming. It's going to hurt her. This is going to hurt. It's going to hurt her feelings or she's going to she's going to feel some sort of heartache. There's some sort of pain involved here. I, I mean, I'm being honest with you. So there is definitely some sort of pain involved here. This is this is hurt, sadness. There could be a separation with that three of swords and the five of cups. You know that. Well, and, you know, separation hurts. Um, we have we have a king of pentacles that is making a choice. They're making a choice to do something. Devil reverse. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. We have Capricorn here and Capricorn here. Could be Capricorn, could be Taurus, could be Virgo. But it doesn't have to be. The devil reversed. You know, the devil reversed is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation that somebody has been confined to. So somebody is breaking free from that situation. But the devil reverse can also be anger. Okay, it can be anger, it could be despair, it could be suffering. Somebody has been in a deep, dark place. 
they, they, uh, things could be getting worse for this person. Something has gotten worse. There could be some addictions here as well. Somebody may make a, a poor decision even. Um, I just got to be honest with you with that devil card. Somebody may uh, be doing something that is very unhealthy. And there could be some sort of professional that steps in because the Queen of Swords can be a professional. Um, sorry. There's a professional here. We definitely have a professional here. Whoever that is involved. That is getting involved. Okay. Um, I feel like there's some sort of sad news that is coming about a separation because this is a separation, this is a separation, this is a separation. This person has been um, trying to find balance, juggling, juggling life, right? Having a lot of ups and downs. And I feel like things have gotten worse. Somebody may be trying to bury their problems in addictions. This Queen of Swords is very intuitive. She is very intuitive, very um, in touch. Sees things absolutely clearly. Now, this is a professional. I know it is. I know I keep saying that, but it is what it, what it is. And it's interesting because we have bleeding here and we have bleeding here. So somebody may be bleeding. There could be some blood involved. Okay. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. Okay. There could be some blood involved here. Or needles. Oh, yeah. The, I don't know where that came from. But there could be some I don't know, needles involved. Anyhow, there could be... Um, some heartbreaking news that is coming just saying um judgment absolution the end judgment is a card of end the end of things it is the end of things this is karma this is being held accountable there could be some legal this could be a lawyer could be a professional could be a doctor could be um police officer um, somebody in protection services, because uh, this is about protection, making a judgment call. Now, this is uh, absolution of some sort. This is the end of a trial. Somebody, it is the end of a trial. So this is the end of a trial. It's the end of a situation. A judgment is definitely being made. And judgment is a card of final. It's finally, finally over. This is finality. It is finality. Now this is being held accountable. Responsibility being assigned to somebody. This is a wake up call of some sort. Somebody's going to be getting a call. They're, they are. They're going to be getting a call. This is a life-changing decision. Somebody is making a life-changing decision. Somebody may even be asking for forgiveness because this is a card of forgiveness. Somebody could be asking for forgiveness for, you know, hurting another person. Okay? Forgiveness is probably going to be needed. But this Queen of Swords, she's bitter. Okay? Usually the Queen of Swords it has bitterness inside. Now, this is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. There is going to be a change. This is a change. There's a choice that is being made by this King of Pentacles. And it does have to do with a toxic behavior. It does. This Somebody could end up, you know, with some legal accountability for their actions. Put it that karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. Just saying. Absolutely 100%. So there is some sort of karma here that is coming for somebody that was a player perhaps. Played a lot of games. This is games. Okay, juggling is a freaking game. So you got somebody here that 
has been playing games. Some sort of karma is coming. They hurt another person. They hurt another person in the past. This is hurt, hurt, past. So whoever this, that's how karma works. Karma will come and get you when uh, you're balanced, okay? You're all balanced and you're doing good and you forgot about what you did. Ha! Here we go. So this is karma. This person has been able to juggle. They've been able to play games. They've been able to get away with it. But it's over. It's absolutely over. It's, it's, it's time to be honest. It's time to tell the truth. It's time to uh, release. Now, this is release. Now, somebody may be wanting a reconciliation even. They may be asking for forgiveness. Asking. Whoever this person is, is very materialistic. They have been very materialistic, very controlling, had a very big ego. Their ego got in the way. Their ego got in the way of... happiness they thought that having all those things was going to make them happy which is interesting anyway there's some sort of heartbreak here and it's it's very very hurt very very uh painful this is a painful release this queen of swords has experienced or is going to experience a painful release okay that's what we got going on here and she does not see it coming she does not see it coming or she didn't see it coming when it happened anyhow that devil reverse is freedom it is freedom Somebody has been able to escape judgment. They have. They've been able to escape karma. Ha, ah, no. Doesn't work like that. It doesn't because karma is coming. There's two sides to every situation. There's two sides to every coin. And there's ups and downs. You know, you may be up today and down tomorrow. Anyway, this, this devil reversed is, is a lot of suffering. So we do have somebody here that has been suffering. They've been in a deep, 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 dark place. They have a lot of anxiety and depression. She saw right through who, whatever was going on when it was happening. Anyhow. This Queen of Swords is about to be cut free, or she has been cut free, because that is freedom. It's the end. It's the end of this trial. It's the end of this situation. It's the end of the heartache. It's the end of the pain, because that judgment is the end. It's the end of it. It's the end. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Queen of Pentacles reversed is very jealous. She's jealous, okay? She is. She's jealous. She's possessive. She is uh, maybe smothering, okay? The Queen of Pentacles can be smothering. Uh, lacks financial stability. Not very grounded. Uh, very suspicious. Very hot-headed. Very stubborn. Somebody is not being practical. They're not very responsible. This could be, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Something now, the Queen of Pentacles is typically a mother, so we could have a, a mother that is um, making a poor judgment call, or she's going to be making a judgment call, and she needs to make a judgment call, and she needs to uh, be practical. She does need to be practical here. Not very grounded, not very uh, successful. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that doesn't, uh, she may not be loyal, she may be unfaithful. The 
Queen of Pentacles in reversed. So we have somebody here that uh, it, does, it can be a male or a female. This is somebody that is unfaithful, that is uh, maybe in a relationship just for the money. You know, she may have just stayed with somebody just for the money. So I feel like this Queen of Pentacles may, and that may be karma, because there's karma, right? Car this Queen of Pan Pentacles may have delivered some karma to somebody for hurting another person. You know, what goes around comes around. That is what that is. Okay, the infinities, that's what goes around, comes around. So whoever this person that is very materialistically focused that hurt another person is getting exactly what they gave to another person given to them. That's what we got here. We got this Queen of Swords that is, uh, well, it looks like she's very comfortably set. She's very comfortable. She's not looking. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. She don't care anymore. She's cold as ice. Okay, she doesn't care anymore. She doesn't care. She doesn't want to be tied to this situation. She has broken free from this situation. Now this Queen of Pentacles uh, has probably ended something. And now whoever this asshole is wants a reconciliation. Because he wants something that is solid. He wants something that is stable. He wants something that is real. What goes around, goes, goes around, comes around. So I feel like this Queen of Swords that is sitting pretty in the middle should expect a call or a message or something from somebody that regrets hurting them. This person may want to call a truce they don't want to fight anymore. They may apologize. So anyway, I think that uh, you will need to use discernment. Be honest with yourself. The, the Queen of Swords is a thinker. You will need to think about your life. You're going to be able to, you need to think about your future. You're going to need to think about what kind of hurt this person caused you. The lover is reversed. Oh boy, the lover's reverse is a conflict. This is disharmony. Whoever this person is that is uh, ready to, I think, communicate with the person that they hurt in the past. There, they're ready to communicate with the person they hurt in the past. Has just ended a karmic contract with somebody that hurt them. And they may be looking for an ego boost. They may, they're probably looking for forgiveness. You're going to have to think fast. The reason the Queen of Swords is so hard to love is because she's so real. She's so intelligent. She's so in tune with her thoughts. She doesn't play games. She will not deal 
with anybody that is not authentic. And if you don't come to her correct, you will be taken care of. You will be told and you won't stick around. The Queen of Pentacles knows, or the Queen of Swords knows what she wants. She doesn't pussyfoot. She's not wishy-washy. She sees right through the shenanigans. And that's why she's hard to deal with. But she's honest. So whoever this person is that, that uh, hurt somebody in their past has now received their karma from a false contract. This false contract was not loyal. Good luck. 